Hi, I'm Conrad Teal with Customer Dynamics, and today I'd like to answer a few questions we've had about scheduling appointments in CRM Web versus CRM Outlook. If I create a new appointment in Outlook, test, test from Outlook, and let's set it for 6 o'clock tonight. I can also set it regarding. In this case, again, I'm going to set it regarding um, my account, the lead company. Um, it's currently tracked in CRM. Um, if I wanted to, I could go into my scheduling assistant and I could add an attendee. And one of the things that's kind of interesting in Outlook is my um, CRM users, queues, leads, accounts all show up in here. So I could add a CRM user in here. I'm going to use Jim again. I'm going to hit OK. And I'm going to save this. And so here is my um, test from Outlook created. I'm going to click synchronize just to make sure it's going to show up. Two appointments have sunk. That's a pretty good sign. Um, I'm going to go into my activities. So I can drill in and I can see that Jim is the required. It's tied to a lead company. Here are my times. Um, one thing that I should point out is if I close or mark as complete a, an appointment inside of CRM, the synchronization will break. And what the times are set for in CRM won't continue to update if you were to move around your appointment in Outlook. So that's something to keep in mind um, once you've closed the appointment or marked it as complete. The other thing that's important to know is that if I delete an appointment inside of CRM and then I come back and synchronize and click on and the appointments are still appearing in Outlook. So if I delete an appointment in CRM, it won't delete the appointment in Outlook. If I was to delete these appointments in Outlook, they would potentially delete from CRM. So you want to be really careful with deleting appointments. Thank you for your time, and I hope this quick tutorial has been helpful.